Lek and Greg Vegan Camp, the 1st of November 2019. Happy World Vegan Day! Can you guess what these are? Yeah, these are washing nuts. Or soap nuts also called. They grow nearby, near the temple where we also get our water from. And they're really, really nice to have. I've been using these for a long time, even before I came to Thailand. And I was dreaming of like having these in my garden or just nearby. Now I can pick these myself. Uh, they started to drop from the tree. And yeah, they will be available for the next four or five months or so. The temple is behind this field and there's a big tree and the giant tree behind is the soap nut tree. That's Hima. Mexican spinach all over the fence. Weed our fence. The sweet bamboo still shooting. This is pretty nice. And the soap berries or the soap nuts can be used for many things. For example, I primarily use them for washing my clothes. So I just split them and then take out the seed because they say that the seed may discolor the, the clothes. And also when they're open, I think they will give out more of the stickiness that makes the soapiness. <laughs> and others, uh, like my mother and Lek, are using these for... And also sometimes my brother. I think it was introduced by my brother to use it, uh, like boiling them um, and then you get like a mixture that you can wash your hair with and it's really really good for some people because it's difficult for people to find a good shampoo so this is like a altern very good alternative for shampoo if you have like uh, problems with your hair or whatever I usually just uh, wash my hair with water so yeah I, I just cut my hair when it gets too nasty <laughs> In November usually the papayas get ripe. In Thai they are called malago. And yeah, so it's like there we will have a lot and I'll probably have difficulties of eating all of them by myself. We will probably need to freeze some of them. The durian project still working. Super sweet corn that you, you can ease, eat <laughs> raw. And also these are left for so we can plant more. So we have seeds to plant more. Do you know which, which type of plant this is? Please let me know in the comments below. Something wrong with the giant passion fruits. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm very proud of this because in the background here you can see a jackfruit growing. This was like a little baby. Yeah, when you plant something from seed, you, you're quite happy when it gets very tall. Passion fruit season. The regular passion fruits are quite nice. This one stuck in the bamboo. There are two different types. There's the yellow one and then there's the more reddish one. You can leave them for some time and maybe some of the sourness will go away. Um, sometimes it's nice to eat them fresh, sometimes it's nice to eat them when they're a little bit wrinkled. But when they start to rot, don't eat them. I don't think it's healthy. These jackfruits are also quite nice pumpkin plants but not so many pumpkin so this is a ground cherry first ground cherry in uh, like a great bean cab it's called also in uh, in Danish it's called pineapple cherry because it's like orange these are the fruits they belong to the nightshade family like um, tomatoes and eggplants some people don't like the nightshade family because they have some kind of compound but I like these, so I'm happy that we have some. Thank you, like for planting. Need to keep an eye on these red bananas. Red Cavendish. Really, really delicious. Wow, both palms are getting fruit. That's amazing. 
mangoes flowering and this tomato from last episode I was putting all the grass from the lawnmower electric lawnmower uh, into uh, under this and it actually worked it didn't get too, too acidic maybe the tomatoes like acidic I'm not sure so and it's climbing up the mango tree it's so cool to see I love when plants climb on each other <laughs> I'm looking forward for these babies young and fresh long beans when they're young and fresh here in Thailand they say you can eat them raw and it's very good they taste a little bit like green peas they use them a lot in um, in raw papaya salads also so but probably some people would say that you cannot eat these long beans but I'm completely fine it doesn't feel like um, I'm dying or something it tastes like very sweet juicy green pea I Wonderful. It's completely mutant. Wow, one of the surviving winter squash plants, pumpkins. Bean season coming up. Very, very, very nice when steamed. If you have you grow your own beans and you steam them, you know why. Weed and grass management can be a uh, a bit difficult when you also grow beans in that area but the cool thing is that the beans can use the weed and the grass as climbing tools so they can be above the the soil and that's very very cool very very nice it looks very nice I don't know if you can spot them but we will have a bean party Hima Mani Chilies are still having a party. Red ones also. This is just amazing when you can see the mountains, the clear air and the sky. It's it's good to be in Thailand. Right Hima? It's good to be in Thailand. Right? <laughs> Bananas cracking. So a banana like this, I would just leave for the birds and the insects. Then they, this is available to them. They will probably leave some of the other bananas alone. So that's good. Oh, my red banana project. Bananas are easy to grow in Thailand, but it's much easier to grow the apple banana, the native banana, and compared to like Cavendish and round. Uh, apple banana and also the like the red and and no regular Cavendish or are, are harder to grow. I don't know why, but um, maybe because they're just not native to this area. Maybe they need more tropical conditions. I don't know. Maybe more water. We have a very well defined dry season, and I think that the apple banana handles that pretty well compared to to the Cavendish. Thai vegetable dome is completed.